hello everyone i hope all you are doing very good in your life today in this video we are going to see the eigen function energy eigen values probability densities for a particle in a box here we are given you the equation for eigen function that is psi n is equals to d sin n pi by a into x where d is equals to we already calculated uh, in a previous derivation that is uh, under root 2 by a if you don't know how we got this i request you to go to that video by clicking i button here and uh, you will get the link for that derivation we call it as particle in a box or particle in infinite potential well so after that uh, in the same derivation we also got to know how we calculated the energy eigen values that is en is equals to n square h square by 8 m a square this is also covered in previous videos only for example the potential well derivation so i request you to go to that video and check out that and uh, then the probability density the calculated psi value will be going to uh, square the uh, modulus square of psi will be going to get the probability density here we are considering three cases case number one is for n1 case number 2 for n2 case number 3 for n3 for that we will going to find out the eigen function psi1 psi2 and psi3 for these three cases we will calculate the eigen, uh, energy eigen values for e1 e2 e3 and then the probability densities for psi1 psi2 psi3 first and then we will model a square of this three values for psi1 square psi2 square and psi3 square let's see the case number one when n equals to one so for the n equals to one what is the eigen function as we know that psi1 is equals to d sin pi by a pi by a into x this is the eigen function equation once we got this let us find out the energy eigen values for an energy eigen values e1 is equals to 1 square h square by 8 a square m is equals to e naught why we taken as e naught e naught is for ground state energy ground state energy so that's why we can say e1 is equals to e naught so minimum ground state energy will start from e e1 but we denote it as e naught okay so let us see the probability density for a case number one that is n equals to one for example this is the psi wave where x equals to zero a by two a they uh, x have three values zero a by two a for a psi value psi wave so put x equals to zero in a wave function where x equals to zero x equals to x equals to a by 2 x equals to a what is the sign psi value we will getting and according to that we will draw the sine wave okay psi psi wave so let us see one by one for example when x equals to 0 when x equals to 0 if we put x equals to 0 then entire equation will become 0 so that's why psi is equals to 0 so that's why the minimum values here that is psi is equals to 0 if we got modulus square of psi is equals to 0 then also we are getting 0 only so that's why again we have minimum that means 0 in a probability density then next put a next value that is x equals to a by 2 if we substitute here that means d sine pi by a into x if we substitute here a a get cancelled the ultimate is pi by 2 sine pi by 2 will become 1 then d value we know that under root 2 by a v value already known that under root 2 by a so that's why we can say this is the equation for psi so that's why we will get maximum value at this height once we mo uh, find out the mod square of psi then we'll get 2 by a so that's why the value is 2 by a now the value is put the value is x equals to a 
if we substitute x equals to a here then a and a get cancelled sin pi will become 0 then multiplied by d is equals to 0 so sin is equals to 0 so mod square of this value will get 0 so that's why we will get this wave this is the probability densities where x equals to 0 a by 2 a this is the sin psi wave in the particle in a box at the same time the probability densities of uh, x equals to 0 a by 2 a we will get 0 maximum 0 so this is the wave for a pot potential wave function for a particle in a box in a n equals to 1 for ground state energy eigen values energy eigen values energy eigen function and this is the probability density we'll see case number 2 in case number 2 when n equals to 2 we are going to find out the eigen function eigen energy values probability density for psi 2 and modulus square psi 2 so we'll start with eigen function as we know that this is the formula where psi n is equals to d sin n pi by a into x when n equals to 2 then we can substitute here will become eigen function psi 2 e is e psi 2 is equals to d sin sin 2 pi by a into x this equation is called it as eigen function then let us find out the eigen energy values or energy of eigen values in this we are going to substitute uh, n is here where e n is equals to n square h square by 8 m a square n square is going to be substituted by n equals to 2 then n square will become 4 4 h square by 8 8 a square m instead of writing h square 8 a square m we can directly write it as e naught so e2 is equals to 4 into e naught this is the energy eigen values next see let us see the probability density when psi and for the mod square psi if we draw the probability density four values 0 a by 2 a by 4 a by 2 3 a by 4 and a if we substitute these values in eigen function what are the values we are getting the squaring of that will get modulus square of psi so let us see one by one when x equals to 0 then if we put 0 here then entire equation will become and the psi is equals to 0 mod square of psi will become then also 0 so that's why in the both potential well we have 0 and 0 next put value is x equals to a by 2 if we uh, substitute the a by 2 then we can 2 pi by a into a by 4 a a get cancelled to 1 za 2 2 za so pi by 2 sin pi by 2 will become 1 so sin uh, sin pi by 2 will become 1 then d is equals to we know the uh, values for d that is under root 2 by a so mod square of this we will get uh, square will gone so 2 by a so that's why we are getting highest value or maximum value at a by 2 in psi also and mod square also okay so let us see the next one we call it as x equals to a by 2 if we put the value x equals to a by 2 then sine 2 pi by a a a get cancelled 2 2 get cancelled so sine pi will become 0 so d is equals to d into 0 will become 0 mod square of this value will get 0 here so that's why at a by 2 we are getting 0 value in psi and in mod square also we are getting 0 here so let us substitute the next value that is x equals to 3 by a 3 3 a by 4 so if we put the value 3 a by 4 a here when d is d sine 2 pi a into 3 a by 4 then common part a a get cancelled to 1 za 2 2 za so 3 pi by 2 
थ्री पाई बाय टू विल गेट इट साइन थ्री पाई बाय टू इज गोइंग टू बी गेट माइनस वन एंड डी इज अंडर रूट टू बाय ए माइनस वन इंटू माइनस इंटू अंडर रूट टू बाय ए मॉड स्क्वेयर ऑफ दिस वैल्यू विल गेट टू बाय ए सो दैट्स वाई हियर वंस अगेन वी आर गेटिंग नेगेटिव maximum value in the psi and positive because of modulus square we are getting positive maximum value here and next last one is x equals to a if we take x equals to a here a a will get cancel sin 2 pi means we are getting zero here so sin 0 and mod square of this is also zero if we put if we draw the graph here we can see here zero x equals to a once again the zero and here also x equals to a is the zero this is the second case we saw here let us see the next okay in the last case number 3 when n equals to 3 we are substituting to find out the eigen function eigen energy values and then probability density so let us start to substituting psi 3 where d sin 3 pi by a into x this psi function is called eigen function and then next one we can see here energy eigen values when e3 is equals to e3 raised to square 3 square h square by 8 a square m 3 square is nothing but 9 other than that h square 8 8 a square m is going to be taken as e not so e3 is equals to 9 into e not this is what we call it as energy eigen values and uh, if we find out the probability density in third case we will get minimum values at 0 a by 3 to a by 3 and a and maximum at a by 6 a by 2 and 5 a by 2 this is the maximum values we are getting here so that's why for psi the waves will look like this and for psi modulus square the waves will be looking like this so if i draw total e1 e2 e3 energy eigen values for psi 1 psi 2 c psi 3 for uh, waves in a ground state si uh, waves will be like this and at exi first excited state we uh, we will get two possibility of finding an electron in third excited state we call it as three possibilities are going to get to find out the psi particle in this waves so that's why we call it as psi 3 psi 2 and psi 1 this waves we call i hope you got it to know what i try to explain in this video please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel with this let's wrap up the video thank you